In this video, we'll be showing you how to mount the S33576MK neutral CT mounting kit and the S33576 neutral CT into a P1200 style enclosure. Keep in mind that these are two separate kits, so you will have to buy both the mounting kit and the neutral CT. In this video, we'll be showing you how to install it in any P1200 style enclosure, but for the purposes of this video, we are using a P1200R. Before installing, make sure to consult the safety information and the instructions provided with both the mounting kit and the neutral CT, and never work on energized equipment. For NEMA 1 and NEMA 3R enclosures, like the one that we are using today, the top piece will be this piece that has the neutral lug and bonding hole on the left side. For NEMA 4, 4X, and NEMA 12 enclosures, this would actually be your bottom piece. You'll be mounting the two sides of the red piece into these two mounting holes in the back plate. Then for the bottom piece, you'll mount these two holes in the red part to these two mounting holes on the back fan. Once you have both pieces mounted to the back plate, you will then mount your neutral CT to the mounting kit with the H2 side on the top using the provided nuts. You now have your neutral CT mounted to your neutral CT mounting kit in the enclosure. If you're using it as service entrance equipment, you also need to attach the neutral bonding strap to these holes using the two screws provided. You now have your neutral CT and neutral CT mounting kit mounted to the enclosure and you are ready to install the breaker and use as a ground fault breaker.